Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over if you can use Wi-Fi as the primary path, GSM as your backup path on a Quolsys IQ Panel 2 or IQ Panel 2 Plus. So basically just to start off, the IQ Panel 2, it actually has Wi-Fi and LTE now built in. Uh, GSM is a thing of the past. It's kind of like what people refer to when they're talking about 3G, 4G, or uh, if you're on Verizon's older network, CDMA. Um, now the new communication paths that are made for alarm systems across the board are all LTE. So if you do have a 3G, 4G, or even a CDMA communicator out there, make sure, uh, I just wanna make sure that you're aware, only LTE now is allowed to be activated. So it's just something to keep in mind when moving forward. Now luckily for you, all of the IQ2s and the IQ2 Pluses should now, if you're buying them new, have LTE communication paths built in. Now, just going off of that, the alarm.com service, a lot of you guys are used to other alarm systems where they use Wi-Fi or internet as a primary path and only use cellular in the event that the internet or Wi-Fi goes down. However, the IQ2 Plus or the IQ2 is different in the fact that it actually sends out both signals simultaneously through the cellular and through the Wi-Fi path at the same time. What happens then through the alarm.com, whichever signal reaches the alarm.com servers faster, that's the one that alarm.com recognizes and then it ignores the second one. So basically your system is actually using both paths to send out alarm signals and whichever one's received first, that's the one that gets, um, I guess noticed by alarm.com or that's get that gets received and put into the servers for alarm.com. Now, again, this is different than your normal other systems where it kind of cellular only kicked in if your I guess you can say if your Wi-Fi failed or if your internet failed. Now, most systems back in the day, they used to use phone line connections and phone line connections you know, they were actually pretty vulnerable and somewhat unreliable as well. What you see nowadays is now internet has taken over the phone line connections. Uh, you know, they have a, a bunch of VoIP uh, companies out there. You can, you know, plug in your phone jack to the modem or, you know, that is magic jack. There's a whole bunch of things out there right now that actually allow you to get a phone line through your internet, which again, that is still Wi-Fi internet is still vulnerable, which is why alarm.com actually requires a cellular path to be enabled. So even though the IQ2 Plus has Wi-Fi and cellular, some of you guys may be looking at some alarm companies that have Wi-Fi only enabled plans. With the IQ2 Plus, because it has Wi-Fi and because it uses alarm.com, that's what it's partnered with, you pretty much have to have a cellular communicator backup enabled or the cellular communication path enabled alarm.com requires all of the cellular paths to be enabled just first of all it's more secure so they're actually watching out for you guys in the end and second of all it's a more reliable path um so they only have cellular based plans they even if you have internet you can still use internet only if you wanted to but they're still gonna require that a cellular is enabled. So it doesn't really matter whether or not you guys are planning on using Wi-Fi or not, you need to have that cellular enabled. So whenever you guys are looking for monitoring plans for your Quolsys IQ2 or IQ2 Plus, you wanna make sure you're thinking about getting these cellular-based plans. Now, the cool thing about the IQ2 Plus is it actually comes in a whole bunch of different flavors. So the first thing is, if you have an IQ2 Plus, it comes with different daughter board cards, so you wanna make sure that you're buying the correct one that's gonna work with your sensors, but each flavor actually comes in an AT&T or a Verizon version. Now, the most common question we get here at Alarm Grid is, oh, well, what if my phone plan is with Verizon or what if my phone plan is with AT&T? The cellular communicator that's in the alarm system has nothing to do with who you guys are using for your cellular phones or for as your cellular provider. This is independent and it's for the alarm system only. You will not be contacting Verizon, you will not be contacting AT&T to let them know that you have a SIM card in an alarm system that you wanna get activated on a new line. That SIM card 
is actually registered and activated by the alarm company that you guys decide to go with. The panel has a unique IMEI number and when you guys sign up for the monitoring plan, your company is usually going to require that IMEI number to activate your system. So what does this mean for you? You don't have to worry about contacting AT&T or Verizon. You have to make sure you're signing up for cellular based plans because the cellular fees from AT&T or Verizon actually get pretty much sent to the alarm company. So whenever the alarm company enables or activates your alarm system, they're actually taking on the cellular fees associated with that SIM card that's in your panel. So that's why you're always going to see, as I was saying before, that you have to make sure you have to sign up for the cellular plan so that the cellular fees are covered. Um, normally your alarm company is going to tell you whether or not you are signing up for the correct plan. If you have signed up uh, for the incorrect plan with us, we're obviously going to let you know what plan to sign up for and what you need to upgrade to. If you guys do have any questions about our cellular plans, you can visit our monitoring page online, alarmgrid.com. If, if you guys have any questions about the different level of plans that we offer, you can send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so that that way whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.